Howdy guys, I'm John Rooker A3 here, we're back with another video, again it's a bit different to the usual videos we have. Uh, so, last week was uh, Sonic Central and I apologise that I'm a bit late to the uh, party. But anyways, I just wanted to go through the uh, announcements they made, mostly the game announcement. So, to start things off, um, Sonic Colors Ultimate. I like the sound of it. If it was up to me, I would have preferred if they did Sonic Unleashed Ultimate, but hey. Sonic Colors was a pretty successful game on the Nintendo Wii and DS, so I can understand why they'd remaster it. And it's coming out on PS4, Xbox One, Series XS, uh, Nintendo Switch, and PC. The problem I have with the PC port is that it's exclusive to the Epic Games Store. Um, I mean, some people are probably already over the Epic Store exclusivity deals and whatnot. And it is very cool to see uh, Sonic Colors get more get more of the love that it needs, um, and it coming out on newer systems and like every other system instead of just the Wii. But anyways, um, so one thing I gotta say is that I hope that they sooner or later release it on Steam because um, I am really excited for like the modding community for Sonic Colors Ultimate. I mean like I'm wondering how like if people are modding the game how they're going to implement the wisps into it and whatnot. And um, speaking of that, <laughs> I don't know what version to pre-order. I'm thinking of pre-ordering the Digital Deluxe Edition, but I'm also pre thinking of pre-ordering the physical release of the game. But I'm just wondering if the physical release comes with the uh, Digital Deluxe Edition stuff, which is like exclusive music. Well, obviously not early access. Uh, like exclusive music, some wearables for Sonic, um, movie. Uh, boost effects for some reason, that's an interesting one. Exclusive music, that's interesting too. And the um, physical version comes with a Baby Sonic key ring from the film. But anyways, uh, I am very excited for Sonic Cars Ultimate. Um, we'll probably do a playthrough of it when it fully comes out. Anyways, uh, that's all sorted. The other two I've got to quickly just mention is Sonic Origins, which is apparently a a, uh, a all-in-one package of classic Sonic games, Sonic 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles. Some people were surprised to see Sonic 3 and Knuckles, but people are not happy with the aspect ratio of it, which is, yeah, a bit strange that they're not putting it in widescreen. Or maybe that's just like, um, yeah, I don't know, maybe that was an error, I don't know. We've got a few, you know, merchandise stuff coming out, like some like, uh, necklace, not necklaces, uh, chains, I guess you'd call them. Like Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Shadow, all that kind of stuff. Um, there's a thing being released by Dark Horse, which is like an encyclopedia, I think an encyclopedia, or like just a history of, like, Sonic type of book. I've already got one of those, but it would be interesting to get another one of those. Some more stuff coming out from Jack Specific with the toys. But anyways, uh, the one thing that I am really interested in is the uh, teaser for the next Sonic game. Now, first thing to say, there wasn't much to it. It was just Sonic running through the forest and then boosting off and then showing off this logo that we have no idea what it means. People are saying it says Zap, what, whatever. But you got the next Sonic game coming out in 2022. And some people are saying it's tying into the Sonic Prime series that's coming to Netflix, which is another thing to be looking forward to. They talked a, a tiny bit about Sonic Prime, but um, again, we're just focusing on Sonic 2022. Well, I guess Sonic Prime is a part of Sonic 2022. Anyways, so, the rumour is, is that it's going to be open world, a bit like Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and if that's the case, I'm all for that. But I better hope that the map is huge, because Sonic is a fast character. If he runs from one side of the map to the other in like, I don't know, five minutes, then that's kind of a disappointment. So hopefully the map will be huge and there'll be so many things to explore and whatnot. Um, the leaked teaser name for it is that people are saying that the game's going to be called Sonic Rangers. To be honest, I don't know why, but I'm not really the biggest fan of that name. It kind of reminds me of like, well, it kind of makes me feel like it's a Power Rangers ripoff. And like, what the, I don't know. But I am looking forward to Sonic Rangers, Sonic 22, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, that's um, coming out. But the only thing that I was really hoping for is that they'd show more. Like, we've been waiting for four years now, four, four or five years now, for.
for news on what's happening for Sonic and his 30th anniversary. And I mean, the last game was Sonic Forces, and that wasn't particularly good. I mean, Sonic Mania was fantastic, but Sonic Forces wasn't particularly good. But yeah, so they they should have shown more for Sonic Rangers, Sonic 2022. Um, I'm interested in what the boost thing is going to do. I'm not sure what it's going to do so far. Some people are saying it might be like a time traveling kind of thing. I don't know. It's got an interesting boost effect. It kind of like pixelated purple, blue mixes and whatnot. But uh, yeah, that's um, that's um, something to look forward to. And of course, the other thing too we got to look forward to is Sonic the Hedgehog 2, the movie. That's coming out next year as well. And excited for that as well because I thought the first movie was great and I'm looking forward to the second one. We've seen teasers of like Knuckles being in it, and obviously Tails is in it. Um, they just recently wrapped filming for it, so that's something to look forward to. Anyways, um, I don't know what much else to tell about. I mean, I know there's a compilation of like the Sonic RDW comics in like a one package, and I'm hoping to get that because I really enjoyed the uh, Sonic comics. I've only got a couple of them, but it's kind of hard to get those types of comics here in. Uh, Australia, so, yeah. But anyways, to recap, Sonic Colors Ultimate, looks amazing, looking forward to it. Sonic 22, need to see more of it, like, they should have shown more. Hopefully they show something at E3, but I doubt they're going to. Um, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Sonic Origins, that sounds pretty good, but I mean, like, I've played Sonic 1, Sonic 2 countless times. It's kind of getting a bit overrated. Um, uh, Sonic 2, the movie, looking forward to that. Some of the merchandise they're showing out looks good. Anyways, oh, Sonic Crime, looking great as well. Well, I mean, there's nothing much to it. Oh, Sonic, oh, one thing I almost forgot. Um, the little two-part short animated series that released before Sonic Colors Ultimate. Uh, Sonic Colors Rise of the Wisps, and this introduced the J-Ghost, and how it's going to help uh, Sonic and all that, rescue all the wisps. I mean, we obviously know how he does it in Sonic Colors back in 2010, but the Jade Ghost Wisp is new to Sonic Colors Ultimate, so um, I'm wondering how that's going to work in the gameplay. But yeah, that's all I've got time for, so thank you so much for watching. Leave a like on the video, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video, whatever that's going to be, and I'm looking forward to what's in store for Sonic this year. Catch you next time. Peace.